What's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at a upcoming unique planetary arrangement, talking about an earthquake watch in the coming days, the possibility for a large earthquake above 7.0 in magnitude strength. We'll take a closer look at the details of that earthquake watch here in just a moment. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos, and from all around the world. But first, I want to talk about the sounds of of the auroras the recent storm that we had a couple of days ago it was a very strong it was a g3 kp7 strong geomagnetic storm there's an article here at spaceweather.com you can find it linked below down in the description box and we've all talked about the possibility of strong geomagnetic storms interacting with the power grids of modern society and this is an example a very good example by the way the video again you can find link below in the description box i don't have permission to just use the video i don't do that unless i have permission so i'll link it down below you can go check it out but what you're going to hear are power lines literally making noise in sync with the lights in the sky as he's viewing them from South Dakota in a remote location of South Dakota where it's very quiet and he was actually able to record energy coming from the power lines associated with the geomagnetic storm. This is a phenomenon that's been talked about for years and nobody's been able to come up with a really good recording, at least an audio recording of this phenomenon until now. This is an exceptional video and if you're interested in things like that, I highly recommend coming over and check it out. Once again, the video can be found linked below down in the description box. Coming over here to the website, quick look at the, the planetary K index right now, getting back to normal after the, the very large geomagnetic storm. Looking at the Schumann resonance, it too is pretty quiet. Got a little bit of background noise. Saw a spike about 24 hours ago, but nothing major going on. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera. Looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Today, no earthquake activity, at least showing up on the seismographs. Do see a little bit of magma intrusion. Again, that's the dark blue we see on these seismographs. But again, no earthquake activity. Looking at the GOES X ray flux no major solar flares in the last 24 hours a couple of sea flares but that could change at any moment here's another look at that large cme that made the noise that was resonating through the power lines right down here on planet earth that's the storm that made the noise that you're going to hear in that video once again over here at spaceweather.com want to take a closer look at the earthquake watch now based off of the unique planetary arrangement that's coming into position right now as I do this video. I want to take you guys over to an app that I use that, that shows right now the current position of all the planets in the solar system, large and small. We're going to go into the inner solar system. We're going to look at Earth. We're going to look at Mercury, and we're going to look at Mars. Mercury coming out of retrograde. We've got Mars and the Earth, of course, right here, sharing the same side of the sun. It's not necessarily a unique straight line that we're looking for. It's just a unique planetary position with regard to these three planets right here. Over the next few days, and I'm talking about November 7th through the 14th, these planets are going to be in a position that I've noticed in the past when they are in this position. It's no guarantee, but I have noticed on more than one occasion when planets are in unique positions, we do see large earthquakes on Earth. Again, it's not a guarantee, but I do think in the coming days, chances for a large earthquake above 7.0 in magnitude strength is possible. We're going to step this forward starting today. This is November 6th. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Now we're going into November the 7th. See the planets making their way around. Mercury again exiting retrograde. We're looking at the 7th. Going to speed it up a little more. The 8th, the 9th, 10th, the 11th, 12th, 13th. And by then, Mercury crosses the plane between Mars and the Earth on the 13th. And then the 14th, it continues to move on out of the field of view, at least with regard to Earth and Mars. During that time frame, we could see a large earthquake somewhere on planet Earth. And that's the thing. It's where. 
So maybe we can say, okay, based off of what we're seeing here and the research that I've done, and I've researched over the years the largest earthquakes ever recorded on Earth. And I've been able to go back in time and look at planetary positions during those large earthquakes. And more times than not, planets were in unique planetary arrangements when these large earthquakes occurred. Are they the only influencers of large earthquakes? Absolutely not. There are many other things involved, and that includes the moon and the, the lunar influences of planet Earth. But these planets feel each other. They feel each other's presence. And when they're in unique positions, sometimes, not every time, it is definitely not a guarantee, but sometimes there are large earthquakes on planet Earth. So we could see a large earthquake above 7.0 in magnitude sometime between let's say now and November the 14th also in this video I've got a brand new picture slideshow new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world photo here sent in by Anthony P out of Yakima Washington very unique cloud in the sky and underneath this huge canopy he noticed what looked like a saucer underneath this canopy just looked very strange strange enough that he was compelled to take a photo and here we've got what looked like wispy lenticular clouds off in the distance Chris and David out of Belgium sent in this incredible photo of a nebula in Orion. Great job, guys. Angie out of South Central Pennsylvania. Another excellent observation of what looks like a nearly perfect circle in this very low canopy of clouds. And you've got a, a line that's going through the circle in the clouds. Good observation by Angie out of Pennsylvania. Billy out of Revere, Maine. Very intense, low to the ground, double decker rainbow. That is absolutely spectacular. Another photo by Billy out of Maine. Another unique canopy of clouds in the sky. Kelly out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Not quite sure what we've got going on here, if this is part of something bigger, but four very unique lights in the sky above Myrtle Beach. They don't appear to be helicopters or airplanes. They're way too close together. Looks like they could be part of something larger in the sky above South Carolina. Video here by V-Time out of London. Notice this unique cloud that looked like a big mothership coming in for a landing above London, England. Fiery orange sky here by Kim out of New York. That's about as orange as you can get. Kirk out of Rich Creek, Virginia. Yet another fiery orange sky. Mark out of Lancaster, California. Big jumbo halo in the sky above California. Paul T. out of Ventura County, California. May have noticed the same jumbo halo. Patio out of Fleming Island, Florida. That is the moon in the nighttime sky. Roy T. out of Alberta. Got the sun coming up over the horizon. Sunrise from Alberta. Richard B. out of Naples, Florida. I want to pause this one for a second. Not exactly sure what we've got going on here either. Almost looks like some sort of a triangle craft in the sky. Just covered with lights. But typically, these things aren't lit up like that. I've actually seen one myself. And it was very difficult to see. Didn't have this many lights on it but it does kind of remind me a little bit of the lights that we just saw above Myrtle Beach South Carolina this was above Naples Florida photo sent in by Richard B I don't know what we've got going on here but definitely appears to be some sort of a strange craft in the nighttime sky great job guys keep the photos coming if you have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com all of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery at the website and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there